Proposition 33 would allow cities to control rents on any type of housing, including single family homes and new apartments for new tenants. Uh, while this is a state ballot proposition, it certainly impacts a major city like Fresno. What's your position on rent control and how would you deal with affordable housing as a council member? We'll start with Mr. Richardson, then go to Mr. Benakdar. I will come out uh, at the very beginning and say I'm personally no on 33. Uh, I don't believe that I trust the homes of future Fresnans to whatever city council may look like down the road. I can tell you that's not fair to the folks who are looking to develop these homes, and it's not fair to the people who are looking to move into these homes, first and foremost. Now, as far as affordable housing, there are places around the city, even in District 6, that we can use to get people, we can build more houses, we can get people in homes. I want to put roofs over heads, and that's every head of every different socioeconomic status. Those who are homeless, I was just walking last week on the southwest portion of our district. There's a mobile home park there called La Hacienda. Now I can tell you it was probably some of the most depressing, uh, heavy-hearted walking that I've done. Because although I was there to talk to the people who were present, the ones who were in the homes there, every four houses looked like this. Someone in a mobile home, destroyed, dilapidated building, condemned unit that's all boarded up, empty, vacant lot. And you repeat that all the way around the entire park. That's disappointing. And the folks who live there say it was almost better 10 years ago when it was a drug haven. Think about that. Now, La Hacienda underwent a city purchase and then a purchase from an outside buyer from up north. That did not do the folks who live there any services. In fact, their quality of life there is worse now. So as usual, it's the government getting in the way of people's lives. Government is not the solution. More government is usually the problem. And we've seen it in the southwestern portion of our district, La Hacienda. We've seen it in the northern portion, up at Woodward Bluffs. And we've seen it in the southeast, between Bullard and Herndon, to those homes that I've walked as well. More government is not the answer. Rent control in Prop 33 is not the answer as well. Prop 33 is a bad idea um, for mul a multitude of reasons. One, I've made it very clear from the beginning that I'm the local control candidate. You do not ever cede control up to the state. Every time you take control away from the local community, you will get worse results, you will get uh, less accountability, and you will have indifference to what's really happening on the ground. So anytime the state proposes or there's a ballot measure which says that we're going to cede our control, to give away our voice, to give away our power to the state, it's a bad idea. Rent control is no exception to that. Rent control is something that actually will drive down the availability of housing. It is going to push housing, in, uh, it pushes landlords to not invest in more housing. It pushes them to not improve their existing housing. It is bad for renters, it is bad for families. In this campaign, I'm putting families first. That is the, act, that is the core mantra of what we've been doing here. Every policy that I put forward will be, me will be measured by the metric of, does this make Fresno families better off? Prop 33 and rent control does not. We, are, we will see more deterioration in homes, and apart from that, it will drive homes out of the hands of lo local owners. Your average, uh, your average retired couple perhaps may have a home that they kept and they rented. That's going to end up in the hands of a hedge fund. You don't want that. That is going to drive up rents annually at, at market rates. They will ratchet it up on our friends and neighbors. We don't want that. We don't need that. What we do need is to build more houses. And how do we get there? We need people in city council like me who have actually pulled permits, who have actually fought for conditional use permits, who have reviewed and fought over CEQA applications. You need experience in city hall in day one or else this is going to slide. And we can do better. We can tackle this but we have to start electing people with real world practical experience and I'm that guy on day one.